Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Sword! I had to redo that intro because I accidentally called it Pokemon Shield, so hopefully I don't make that mistake too many times. We are slowly working our way out of Tutorial Land. We have to go to Route 2 and meet up with Professor Magnolia, hopefully. One thing I want to check out is down here in our menu, we have a mystery gift option. Let's check that out and see what happens. Get a mystery gift. Uh, get via internet. That would be cool. I would I would love to have a gift. Can we get anything here? I'm connected to the internet. I did it guys. Wow. Oh, please find me a gift. No gift was found. Oh, I've been bamboozled. Oh, well, I'm gonna go inside this house to take out my frustration. Hi, buddy. Just sitting there. How's it going? Sonia and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? Is it not healthy anymore? Oh no, maybe it needs to go to some gyms and do some more squats, man! Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Dude, you never go full force. Let's go out here, and I guess we'll talk to these guys and then we'll move on with our lives. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Yeah, the guy yesterday... Did he just say do do do? What are you, Homer Simpson, dude? Uh, but no, yesterday, some guy told us knowledge is power, so... Yeah, we gotta have knowledge. Uh, this little girl's speaking nonsense, dude. Now, so we if we get multiple Pokemon, the Pokemon at the top of the list is the one that's gonna go out first in battle. So we got our little Pokemon menu right here. So, yeah, we've only got one Pokemon, so by default, Crisis will go out first. What do you have to say, dude? You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Right, so that's where we're going. Yeah, I love that we could see Crud off in the distance. It's pretty cool. Let's move on and see what we got here on route number two. Uh-oh. Over here, Psycho. Okay, we're not out of tutorial land yet, guys. Hop's got some more stuff to teach us here. Maybe he'll teach us how to hopscotch. I don't know. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. Uh-oh. Hey, Leon. Yeah, he's going to teach us how to catch some Pokemon here. So we'll get through this a little bit quickly. I think most of you, if you're watching this, probably already know how to catch a Pokemon. And just a little recap if you need one. You just gotta lower a Pokemon's HP and then throw a Pokeball and you're probably going to get it. Certain Pokemon are more difficult to catch than others, but the Pokemon we're gonna find at this point in the game are mostly pretty gosh dang easy. So here we've got a Wild Wooloo. It's gonna send out a Rookie D. Yeah, he's not mean enough to send out a Charizard against this guy. So right now we are just watching a tutorial video basically. I, I'm not controlling the menu here at all. I don't know why they go so slow. But Potion, no, that's not going to be good for catching. He's got 50 balls. He's just going to throw it? You're not going to weaken it at all? Come on, Leon. Well, maybe he'll get lucky. Wooloo doesn't have that bad of a catch rate. All right, he gets it first try, so there you go. Maybe you don't even have to weaken Pokemon. Just chuck some balls at it. And Rookie did just totally vanished right there. Typically... I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Alright, I don't know if there's anything here that I really want on my team, though, man. I, I, I don't know, I'll have to think about it. Yeah, so we'll get some experience points from battling, we'll get experience points from fighting trainers, catching Pokemon, all kinds of ways to get experience in this game. And that is one of the reasons why sometimes you can get a little bit overleveled, but we'll see what happens. Alright, Hop. Ready to catch some stuff? We'll go We'll go throw some balls at him, dude. All right, I'm going to catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. I don't know how many we're going to catch here. Yeah, I'm not going to catch Pokemon that I don't really plan to use on my team. Now, one Pokemon I was really thinking of using is this one right here. I'll go ahead and encounter them just to show. But this is a new Generation 8 Pokemon. The name is Nickit. They are a dark type. And they're pretty cool. I really like them. The problem is that they kind of have weak stats even once they evolve and on top of that a lot of their abilities have to do with like stealing items or different things like that and I just feel like their abilities don't really suit a story playthrough that much because item stuff with your opponent is usually not that important. So because their abilities just don't make a lot of sense I don't really want to use them. Although I almost did. I really almost did use them. And here we have another new Pokemon. This is Choodle. I love this little crutter. But I've already got a Water-type Pokemon with Crisis, so we're not going to catch that guy either. So we'll just keep moving on. Yeah, nothing I want to catch here quite yet. Oh well. Do we got anything special from this little icon? Okay, it's going to be a Rookie D here. So I just ran away from that guy and we'll just keep moving on. And maybe get to our first Pokemon Trainer battle. Uh, unless you count Hop. I don't know if I count Hop. Yeah, let's go fight this guy. Once you get in their sight, boom, the battle is set. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. The weird thing is, 
Our eyes didn't meet until my character rotated towards him. When I actually walked into his line of sight, I was looking sideways, so he just kind of saw the side of my head. But oh well, this guy has a Squovit with his little chubby cheeks, dude. And I'm going to go for a Water Gun. I still have not moved Water Gun to the top of my attack list because I'm lazy, but maybe eventually I'll do that, crud. Looks like two more Water Guns will defeat this guy. He'll hit me with a Tackle. I'm not really afraid of your Tackle, dude. So one more Water Gun here. If we get a Critical, I'm not going to get a Critical, so we'll have to do a third one. But not a big deal. Pretty early on in the game, of course, the battles are going to be very simple. We don't have a lot of attacks. We don't have very complicated Pokemon we're fighting. So, yeah, just spam some attacks and you'll win. I did take a pretty good chunk of damage right there. I don't think I'm going to have to use a potion, although I could. We will learn Bind. I probably won't use Bind very much, but we learned it. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. I mean, that's a good a good strategy. Even though his shirt has like a Squovit and some Doritos on it, but oh well. If you don't want to battle, it's important to make sure you aren't seen by other people when you're walking around. Oh gosh, my one weakness. People looking at me. We're going to go up here and grab ourselves some balls, get two potions, and we'll also get some trainer tips. Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience points helps them grow stronger, and your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a Pokemon you are battling against. Yes, we will. We can also jump down ledges, so that's cool. So over this way, we're going to have an item. So we have to go all the way around this little ledge to get that crud. I think it's worth it. Get ourselves three more Pokeballs, even though I haven't used much. But you know what, dude? I want to catch that guy. I want to get me a gosh dang Yamper. This is a Pokemon I did not use during my Pokemon Shield playthrough that I did casually back when the game came out. So I want to go ahead and catch this guy. I'm limiting myself to only Generation 8 Pokemon and only Pokemon that I've not already used on my Pokemon Shield playthrough. So this is a perfect fit, dude. Yamper. Let's go get this guy. Let's go ahead and hit him with that pound. Good, good. It didn't, didn't even get close to killing this guy. So I want to get him probably down into the yellow, maybe even the red if we can. Um, this guy is easy enough to catch that we might be able to just throw a ball and get lucky, but I think I do want to lower this guy's HP. We could do one more. I don't know if it's necessary, and I'm taking some big damage from this dude, so I'm going to risk it, guys. Let's go right for a Pokeball. For the first time this playthrough, let's hold down B, and let's get this crud. One shake, two shake, three shake... And there it is, guys, our first new team member. The first one we've caught ourselves, rather than just having it being given to us. We now have Crisis, and now we have Yamper, who I have also not thought of a nickname for, so I'm going to have to think of one on the spot right here. First off, let's see if it's a boy or a girl. Actually, first off, let's read the Pokedex entry. So we've got the Puppy Pokemon. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. All right. So let's give it a, nick a nickname. This is a boy as well. Hmm. I'm not going to name it Sparky. That's too generic. I will also not name him Thorgy. That's not happening. Okay. I know this is a very obvious name and probably a lot of people have named him this, but I'm going to go with Zeus. The reason being that I've had a P uh, Pikachu named Thor at some point during my playthroughs. I've had an Eevee named Freya. So I've kind of done the mythological gods before. This is kind of a different uh, set of gods than Thor and Freya are from. But hey, you know what? It's generic, but we're going to go with Zeus. I gosh dang love Zeus. I love him, dude. Let's go. I'm being chased by Corgis, dude. All right. I kind of am tempted to go back and heal before we do this battle, but you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna go in. We're just gonna go in. Cute and strong together in combination. That's what Zeus is, right? Oh my gosh. I kind of want to change Zeus's name to be spelled Z O O because they're an animal, dude. Oh, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna do that. That makes way more sense. So, oh, well, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can't decide. I can't decide. I don't, I'll, I'll think about it. We're going to go ahead and do some bind here, I guess. Man, this would have been a great battle for Zeus. Why didn't I have them up front? So we'll do a little bit of damage with bind. And I think I might want to swap out, but Zeus is already low. Crisis is low. This is not good. So bind will do some extra damage uh, after the turn right there. Let's go to Pokemon, dude. We're going to we're gonna go for it. I know they're low, but we'll swap Pokemon and see if we can blast this dude. I saw we have an electric attack. I, I'm hoping that is actually an electric attack that does damage. So they're going to use some tackle right here. Shouldn't do too much. Toodle is not that strong. Okay, we've got Nuzzle. That's going to do a very small amount of damage. But we could paralyze them, so that's good. Somehow we are slower than a turtle. Down to 1 HP. If this doesn't kill, we're going to have to go and heal. And yeah, that does not kill at all. We do get to paralyze, which is going to cut his speed in half, so we should... Uh, we should be fine there, but yeah, we're going to have to heal. I can't believe we're using a potion already in this game. 
That's okay. It's kind of my own fault for not going back and healing before we continued the route. It's not going to be that big of a deal. We've got so much money. We've got so many potions. I'm really not worried about it. So with that, I kind of wonder if Tack would even be better. Probably not. I don't think it gets the same type of attack bonus like Nuzzle will get. I think we're pure electric type. We're not electric normal or anything like that. So even though Nuzzle's kind of a weak electric attack, we're still going to go for that. Let's keep on going for it. Man, we might even need two more. This is not doing a whole lot. No, that was enough. Okay. So down goes Choodle right there. And maybe we'll be able to get a level up for Zeus. Okay, we got one for Crisis and Zeus. That's awesome. There we go. And we defeated Last Lauren. Take that, you crud. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a way to go. Okay. Give me your money. Man, she has like the shortest tie. Look how short her tie is. Holy crud. But with that, guys, we're going to move on. And, oh, jeez. I think we're going to have to put Zeus up front because Crisis is still low. But we've got uh, some decent HP over on Zeus. So let's do that. Let's go fight this guy. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm going to beat you. Uh, Hop's already been through here, already beat this guy? Dang, dude. All right, we've got Youngster Benjamin. And once again, he's got the shirt with the Doritos on it and the, the Squovit. Okay, we've got Blipbug. This is a new bug type in this game. And you can catch Blipbug. I, I forget which route, but he's definitely available uh, at this point. I used a Blipbug during my Pokemon Shield playthrough casually. They were really cool. I love what they evolved into. But, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be using any Pokemon that I've used before. So we're not going to be using Blipbug this time. So that's not going to do that much damage, but it will paralyze the guy. I think I'm going to go for Pound or for Tackle right now because... While it's not going to get the same type of attack bonus, it will be a little bit stronger because they're not weak to uh, Nuzzle like that Choodle was. Taking some big damage here. We're down to 7 HP. I think we might want to go for yeah Tackle anyways because 1, it's going to do more damage. 2, he's lowered my special attack. And it's not going to be enough to kill him, but he's stuck in Paralyzed, so that worked out really nicely. That is something good about Nuzzle. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but the Paralyze is so good. Especially on Yamper, who's pretty slow. So actually getting to paralyze your opponents so that you can hopefully go first while fighting them is pretty nice. Out comes Nicket. I think I am going to swap back over to Crisis because Zeus has taken some big damage. I thought about maybe using Nuzzle and then swapping over, but we're just going to play it safe, I guess, and uh, go directly for that water gun. So Nicket, as I mentioned, uh, I think in the last episode, is a dark type. We don't have anything good against dark type, but that's okay. We'll just go for water gun here. Maybe I should go for bind first. I don't know. I've never been that big of a fan of moves like Bind or Wrap or that kind of thing, but maybe it would have been a good idea. Uh, well, maybe not, because Water Gun's going to two-shot this guy anyways. And we get to go first, and there we go. Nice. So down goes that guy. Level 7 should give us some good experience, man. And not enough to level up for either of my guys, but that's okay. Crisis is very close to level 10, and Zeus, I'm sure he'll catch up at some point. Get 420 Poké Dollars. Pokemon hiding in the tall grass or trainers waiting along the route. Which one you choose is up to you. Yeah, sometimes you'll get to either fight a trainer or go to a side path and dodge them. I'm going to fight all the trainers. I, I plan to fight every trainer I can find. Look, there's the professor. Yay! Just who I was looking for. So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynanax? <laughs> My first time to get to read that word during this playthrough and I mess it up. Previously on Pokemon Sword. And his Charizard is doing a Dynamax. What? Dynamax phenomenon yet. Oh, goodness no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dude, her name is three question marks. It's the same as that weird Pokemon we saw. Hmm. Maybe she was that Pokemon. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. Yet we're right here. Me and my cool orange hoodie. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. All right, Magnolia. Quite the name you've got there. So we'll go inside. We've already got the Pokedex. What are we doing here? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably important. Why, Hop, dear. I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Psycho. I trust you've received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. Yeah, we're definitely not completing that this playthrough. I'm sorry, guys. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Psycho? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. Why don't you ever talk about me? Love me, Leon. <clears throat> uh, there are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. There's three types. 
there's probably more than three types. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Uh-oh. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Come on, you gotta endorse us, man. He's your, your little brother, and I'm his friend. We're definitely friends. Hop and Taiko only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Are you calling me dumb? Dearie, I thought your dreams was to have everyone in the gallery to become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. <laughs> what did you... Uh, hop? It is not time to do squats right now, man. Wait for the gym. Wait for the gym. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Good, because I am I'm a little bit low on HP. So it feels good to be healed back up here. Dude, they've got a microwave. That's fancy. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Psycho. Um, can I just stay in here forever and never have to battle hop? That would be nice. Got a nice little house here. We've got some Choodle. Man... Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Curse of No Doors. They've got a garden here, but yeah, just like our house back in uh, the other town. Yeah, no doors here. It's uh, kind of strange. Man, it would suck if you're a door company. You're going to be going out of business quick here. Let's go talk to Magnolia one time. Man, she's got a lot of vegetables on the ground. I would not trust that crud. If you've got pets, dude, they're going to go eat that crud. Like just today, Clevy was, uh, she had a donut on her desk. Our cat walked up and licked the donut, dude. It's ruined. The donut is ruined. I know some people... Why is there a hair dryer on the thing? That's a fire hazard, dude. But yeah, some people would be willing to eat their food after a pet's licked it, but... I don't know, man. I'm not down for that crud. Wait a second. Hold on. There's a door right here. Okay, it's fine. The door companies are not going to go out of business, guys. We got a door right there. And, of course, the door that leads to the outside. So, there are doors in this game. They're just sometimes missing in certain places. Hurry it up, Psycho. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Alright, just bring it on, dude. We'll battle you. Even though we've already battled Hop, we've already kicked his hiney, we know we can win. You remember what I asked you, don't you? I think you've got potential, and that's why I want you to be a real rival to Hop. And that's direct from your champion, Leon. You're not my champion. Okay, we'll talk to Hop here. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Uh, I need to prepare. Let me just make sure that... I want to make sure Zeus is up front, because I want to save Score Bunny. Or, I want to save Crisis for Score Bunny. Yep, he's up front. Good. So, let's go battle. Of course! Let's battle, Hop. We're going to have a Hopscotch tournament. It's going to be a two-person tournament, so the very first battle is already Grand Finals. All right, listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take. Pardon. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So, show me something good in this battle. All right, I'll just cook up my best curry and show you that. It's very good. It's time for my legend to begin. I don't know, man. Hop has quite an ego, but I think he gets it from his uh, big brother. He's just trying to live up to that dude. It's kind of a big shadow to be living in. But all right, Pokemon Trainer Hop, this time with three Pokemon. Dude's always got to one-up me. I have one Pokemon, he has two. I get a second one, he gets a third one. I'm going to get six and he's going to have seven, dude. Okay. So against Wulu, who is just a normal type, I'm going to start off with Nuzzle, and then we'll go over and do Tackle. They're not going to be weak to any of my attacks, but thankfully they're also not going to do that much damage to me. So once we get that Nuzzle on, get that Paralyze going, then uh, we're going to be able to go first, I think. So let's go back over to Tackle. We could do Tail Whip to lower their defense, which would make our attacks do more damage. I don't know if it's worth it. It actually might be, because, uh, well, our Tackle's not doing that much, but it might be too late at this point. Usually, if you're going to go for a defense down like Tail Whip, you want to do that right at the start of the battle. That way, every attack afterwards gets the bonus. Man, it's kind of looking like Wulu's going to do quite a lot of damage to us. Never mind. Never mind. They're getting stuck and paralyzed a lot. I was going to say that Zeus might not be able to battle after this Wulu because they're going to be so low. But if we're getting lucky enough for them to get stuck like that, we're fine. They're going to go for Growl. That will lower our attack stat, but what we can do is just swap out. After we defeat this Wulu, we can swap out to Crisis, and that'll give our attack stat a boost, get it back to normal. And we still defeat them. We get that critical hit right there. Very nice. You landed a critical hit on my Pokemon. You've got plenty of spirit, that's for sure. So down goes Wulu. I don't know if he's going to go directly for Score Bunny, or if he's going to go for, some, uh, for his third Pokemon. Level 10 on Crisis, level 7 on Zeus. Nice. So out comes... Okay, yes, Score Bunny. So we're going to swap over to Crisis. That is exactly what I wanted, because I wanted to swap out to get the Growl off of our dude. 
And uh, that gives us a good chance to do that. So we'll go to Crisis. We'll go do some Water Gun here. Just imagine, dude. His third Pokemon is the one from Slumbering Well. That would be ridiculous. No, I, we, we couldn't attack that guy. I'm sure he couldn't catch it. No way. Oh, almost one shot. No critical needed. Yeah, we, we've learned type matchups. You've already pointed that out in our last battle. Our flames are burning bright. You're, you're going to use a fire attack against my water type. Are you serious? He is serious. He'll go for Ember and do very pitiful damage. All right. Um, good job, Hop. <laughs> you're really making Leon proud. Watch, we're going to do this battle, and then Leon's going to give me an endorsement, but not Hop, because Hop just used Ember against my Sobble. Okay, level 8 on Zeus. And yeah, let's check out that third and final Pokemon, Rookie D, the Flying type. And that is perfect because Flying type is weak to electric, so we'll go do Nuzzle. It's, again, it's still Nuzzle. Nuzzle's not a very strong attack, but it should still do some decent damage. Uh-oh. His eye is missing again, guys. Oh, there it is. Never mind. So out comes Rookie D. And, yeah, we'll just go directly for that Nuzzle. Unnerve. Uh-oh. I'm too nervous to eat berries, even though I don't have any berries. Uh-oh, it goes for Peck. That should not do very much because we're an electric type. We're fine. Get him with that nuzzle, Zeus. Hit him with the power of thunder. Or, I guess, lightning. There we go. Get that paralyzed. One more of those. We'll do the trick. And because he's paralyzed, we should go first now. We do. And that's it, man. Down goes Rookie D. So once again, we defeat Hop with no trouble. I'm glad we decided to get Yamper. If we, def if we tried to fight that guy with just Sobble, that might have been a close one. But with the power of our two Pokemon, we got it. Oof! Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. 640 Poke Dollars. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. Yeah, I don't think the way you throw your Pokeball is going to matter that much, dude. You gotta focus on what matters. Knowledge. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? I mean, it's going to be my victory and your defeat. Sounds good to me. Alright, Leon. Will you endorse us? Psycho, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Well, thanks, dude. Mr. Wearing Leggings Under Shorts. We get the letter of endorsement. Nice. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Well, I'm pretty excited to take on that gym challenge, dude. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You can just walk like three steps. He's right there. Go touch him. Go reach him. No, I, I don't think that's what he means. I think he means reach him in terms of Pokemon skill or power or whatever. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I, and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. That is a little bit hyperbolic, dude. That's, jeez, relax. Ah, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you <laughs> got caught in that net that one time when we were young. Oh, jeez, and that one time you got caught in a bear trap. Uh, and anyways, things like how you throw your Pokeball out, things that have nothing to do with real strength. You need knowledge. Honestly, I'd be worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Psycho. Are we going to high five? Dude, uh, we could fist bump, high five, as long as we don't handshake, dude. There's no way we're going to handshake. Uh, let's do absolutely here. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. And soon they're going to be 10 feet tall. They're not going to be able to fit through the doors. Oh, wait. A, a lot of the buildings don't have doors. We're fine. Uh, what is that? Uh-oh. Sparkles from the sky? Whatever could it be? Man, I missed my chance. I could have wished on that falling star, but I didn't. Oh, it's a wishing star. Maybe, maybe there's still hope. Maybe I can still make a wish. Thanks, Hop. He could have kept those for himself, but I guess he's a, he's a good dude. He shares with us here. A stone found in the Gala region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. What if I have a nightmare? I don't want that crud to come true. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're going to be massive. Yes! Full capital Pokemon. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. Yeah, I just uh, really wanted some Taco Bell. There's probably no Taco Bell in Pokemon, though. Oh, well, we'll have to settle for Curry. Can we get Curry? I mean, there's Curry on my t-shirt. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! Uh, Hop, you need to calm down with the caps, dude. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will become true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. <laughs> you dummy, that's not how that works. 
Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are no, uh, one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now. <laughs> Give them to me now. She's like, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rare. She's just trying to talk us into giving it to her so she can sell it on the black market and make a, a bunch of poke dollars. All right, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? I'll say Dynamax correctly one of these days, guys. Then please give Psycho and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. See, I said it correctly. First, we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the Slumbering Weld, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. <laughs> a Pokemon just comes up and picks us up and carries him away. No, it's not going to happen. There's no Pokemon strong enough to take down Hop. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Now, you, you missed the battle, Sonya. You missed the good part. I was kicking Hop's butt. It was great. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Dude, I was just talking about that. I would love some curry. All right. And Hop's back there squatting again. Is that the getting curry music? Oh, please tell me we got some curry just now. Because curry makes me courageous. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Hop, are you saying we get to finally escape Tutorial Land? No way, dude! Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Haha, <laughs> wouldn't you like to know? I'm not going to give you any knowledge, because knowledge is power. I don't want to make you any stronger. Uh, well, there was weird heavy fog. It was very thick. And then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Psycho tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. Yeah, or, or something. It's all pretty hazy. I wonder why. A right fount of information you are. Psycho, hop. These are for you. Can we get another Pokedex? Or maybe she can give me some berries so I can finally not eat berries when they unnerve me. Oh boy! A Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia. We slipped that crud on our wrist. This is our MLG bracer right here. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Whatever that means. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just, it's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not as simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Uh-oh, is the four-foot Charizard going to turn into a five-foot Charizard? Oh, uh, we'll have to see. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex, too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Guys... It is the 21st century. We have the internet. Can't we just download some data to our Pokedex? Why do we have to fill it in personally? Dang. Anyways, come on, Psycho. I'll beat you to the station. Don't you beat me, Hop. That's rude. But all right, guys. I know this is a bit of a long episode. This is kind of the first chance we've had at a break. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We'll come back next time, and maybe we're finally beyond tutorial land. We can start our adventure properly. I'll see you all then. Take care.